Hello, welcome to Kingdom Devotion. Today is an awesome day and it's my privilege to share God's Word with you. Isn't it amazing that the Bible is a love story of God pursuing us and this love story still continues today for you and me? In the book of Thessalonians, we see the love that Paul has for his fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Due to a riot, Paul had to flee the city. He narrowly escaped. Paul had an intense longing to see the believers again. He became concerned that the believers might fall away from their faith due to the intense opposition they were facing. So Paul sent Timothy to encourage and strengthen their faith so that no one would be disturbed by these afflictions. Timothy came back with the good news to report. The believers had remained faithful. Paul wrote in the letter to express his joy. The word affliction and faith were mentioned a few times. We see that afflictions often challenge and test our faith. The COVID-19 and the Hong Kong protests brought intense uh, uncertainty and fear. How is your faith? Are you standing firm in your faith? Or are you discouraged and wavering in your faith? Is Jesus Christ with you in this storm? My own faith journey has its ups and downs. And now looking back, it was really tough and difficult when I did not put God first or choose his ways. But thanks be to God for his word and his faithfulness. Faith is confidence in God even when I do not see it. And the Bible says that we are all given a measure of faith and we can exercise this faith seed in us to grow. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. We need to feed on God's word to be strong and courageous. God's word is spirit and is life. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? And the Bible says that without faith, we cannot please God. And I say, oh Lord, I, don't wanna, I do not want to displease you. You are the God of the universe. I want to reveal you. So help me, Father, in this faith journey. And God, I thank you that you are a rewarder to those who believe in you. And it is comforting to know that our faith does not depend on our own strength, but on God's power. Paul is a shining example of a man of faith. And the Bible asks us to imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises of God. So let us pray and ask God to strengthen our faith. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your amazing love. And Lord, I ask that in times when we go through challenges, difficulties and trials, that when we are weak, Father, you be strong in our lives, for you are a God of faithfulness and your love will never let us go. And Lord, I thank you that you forgive our sins and the past things that we have done. But Lord, we can be victorious in you when we come back to you, Father. So Lord, help us in this faith journey that in you we can have everything, but apart from you, we can do nothing. Lord, we love you. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.